me I was a very smart baby. But when I was two, Steppy took me on the polar bear plunge. It might have scrambled my eggs a little bit, but it made me tough. And this was my big Christmas present for this year. Some people have questioned the wisdom of me taking my grandson into the icy waters of the Atlantic Ocean on New Year's Day when he was only two. Has it impaired him intellectually? Well, at six, he is struggling with the differential equations class I have been tutoring him in, but he is quite good with trigonometry, so I guess the jury is still out regarding his mental development. Anyway. He is a tough little son of a gun, and he agreed to go polar bearing with me again this year. Now, have you been mad at me ever since I did that? Yes. No. Yes? I'm sorry. But today, you're doing it voluntarily? Yeah. Okay. Right. And today, we're discussing the polar bear plunge. <laughs> He didn't think it was gonna be that cold, I don't think. Steppy took him under the water, and when he came back up, he was hysterically crying. When we came back up, I said, let's get out! I wanna get out! Not saying let's get out, he was hysterically crying. But it toughened him up. Look how he has a, a first night badge pinned to his bare skin. And so why won't you go with us? It's smart. It's going to be freezing cold. He might even get frozen in an icicle if he goes, don't listen to her. I was joking earlier and saying that Cameron hasn't been as smart ever since he did that plunge when he was two. But that's not true. He is pretty smart, isn't he? Okay, now, Cameron, let's talk about what we have to expect today. Is it going to be cold? Yes. Are we brave? Yes. Are we gonna cry a little tiny bit? You will. I am, yes. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> okay, but we're not gonna stay in very long. Are we? Five seconds. Five, no, I don't think it'll Three be. seconds. Three seconds. Do you want me to take you on my back again? No, that's probably be too hard. Yeah, that would. Now, Sophie is the staff photographer. She's gonna photograph this. I can't wait to get him crying. <laughs> <laughs> You'll see. You'll see. All right. Okay. Are you gonna go in the water, Romeo? Yes. Yes. It's very important to have a few carbs before you go in the water and there's nothing I like better than Aunt Terry's pretzels. I didn't have to pay for them. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, come on, so give me a pretzel, please. Yeah. Fine, I'm getting one. Fine. Thank you. Is Debbie going to survive? this year's plunge. 
Darren, do you know what the water temperature is today? 48. 48? That's pretty warm, relatively speaking. Yeah, it is. We're lucky, Cam. 48 degrees. Cameron and I walk to the beach, accompanied by our entourage of relatives and well-wishers. God bless somebody. <laughs> I love living in Ocean City, and this annual polar bear ritual really sets the tone for the new year. And to have Cameron volunteer to go in with me was a dream come true after my years of guilt over his first plunge in January of 2008. <laughs> come on, Cammy, come to mommy! <laughs> Take a little walk and let your poor heart break a little walk. That's the story of That's the glory of love. Love you, Seth and Cam. Steppy.